Hi, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Is there anybody that is online that I can share with? Is there anybody around? I know it's a work day. Um, I just felt like I wanted to share. It's been in my heart. And it's been some time now that I've come online. I am not sure who is online this morning. It is 10.30 in United Kingdom. I am not sure who is online. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, my dear brother. Good morning. Um, I just wanted to share something this morning very quickly. I'm not going to take your time. It is just a very blessed morning. I thought I was going to share with somebody. Um, I'm... God is good all the time. Good to see everybody, all of my Facebook friends and everybody that is there. I just wanted to share. I just wanted to share. I just wanted to share. All right, so thank you for your word, O oh Lord. And we're asking that you just bless us. Amen. All right, so this morning, um, Romans chapter 12 in verse 15. Romans chapter 12 verse 15 says, in the New Living Translation, it says, when others are happy, be happy with them. If they are sad, share their story, uh, their sorrow, rather. All right, so I checked other version, and it says, if someone, if you are with someone who is happy, you should also be happy. If you are with someone who is sad, you should also be sad. All right, so there was an instance that happened to me um, some time ago, um, about four weeks ago or three weeks ago, there's one of my, there's one of the women that brings our son or our children to my son's school. So they, so she usually comes around very bubbly and stuff like that. And at some point, you know, she keep, she brought her children to school and I was like, oh, what's going on? Are you okay? You are not looking your real self. So she goes, ah, that she's bothered about something. So when I dropped my children and she dropped her children, um, I decided I was going to follow her home. I decided I was going to follow her to her house. I was supposed to come in back home after the school runs. So I decided I was going to come, you know, go with her to her house. So we shared together. And for some reason, <laughs> I found myself crying when we were sharing together and when it comes to the time that we needed to pray. So it was important for us that we, you know, pray together. So, um... And, 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 that, and that's where the point where I wanted to share comes from, that there's blessedness in the scriptures. There's blessed, blessedness when a scripture is fulfilled. Blessed are those who, you know, actually practice the scriptures and they are able to get a blessing out of it because there's a blessing when a scripture is fulfilled. And that is what the word of God is written for. Um, there's a scripture in the, in the Bible that says that, um, um, and he sent his word and he healed them and delivered them from all their destructions. So when people, um, when the word of God is sent like that and people are delivered and set free and healed from all their destruction, delivered from all their destruction, that scripture is fulfilled, literally fulfilled. And God is praised. Um, what more what more do we want God to, what more do we want happen when, you know, God is glorified, when, when his scriptures, his word is fulfilled. All right. So I just wanted to share with us that, you know, it's just important that there's, when people, okay, so this, this Romans chapter 12, verse 15 that I've just been pondering about, you know, when people are happy, be genuinely happy with them, for them, you know, because that is where the blessings comes from when you, when when you practice that scripture when any scripture is practiced and wholeheartedly practiced god is praised you know and god is glorified and at the end of the day you get a blessing out of it you know you get blessed at the end of the day you get blessed you get blessed because there is blessedness in the scriptures there is blessedness over every word of god that is fulfilled so this word of God that I'm sharing is in, book of, is in the book of Romans chapter 12, verse 15. And when people rejoice, another, another version says rejoice with those who rejoice. That means sharing others people, others people, other people's joy. And weep with those who weep. Like literally 
come into the shoes of people who are sad come into the shoes of people who are happy you know when you are happy when people are happy around you you know come into their shoes you know feel try and feel you may not particularly know you know feel the complete joy but like share in their joy like literally laugh with them another scripture or another version of that scripture says celebrate with those who celebrate and weep with those who grieve rejoice with them that do rejoice and keep and weep with them that weep um another version says be happy with those who are happy be sad with those who are sad um the message translation is what you know really gets at me it says laugh with your happy friends when they are happy share tears when they are down like literally share tears with them <laughs> you know when somebody is grieving and you are there you know try and imagine what if it what if it was you just sharing their tears share in anybody's joy anybody if your friends are getting married if your friends are buying a, sh buying a house you know getting a car getting engaged whatever that makes them happy sharing their happiness that's 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 as simple as that just share in their joy share in their being happy it, it's just because there is blessedness when the scripture is fulfilled all right so i just feel i wanted to bring that thought to you that you know as christians we should genuinely you know i've been pondering over this scripture for a long time now um particularly the experience that i had about four weeks ago um when i had to follow that my friend from from our school runs followed her home and she was sharing with me everything that has happened in her past she's a woman like me who has a bad kind of past you know that was that past was was catching up with her with everything she did that past was catching up with her and she was literally crying she was coming into a new contract into a new atmosphere and she was afraid really scared that that past is going to catch up with her you know that past is going to um is going to flag up on her profile you know and she she was she was very scared but i thank god she, you know as i looked at her you know she, she's a friend we don't usually go to her, you know but when i looked at her countenance that is this somebody that's very bubbly she will greet my children she will greet the boys i'll greet her boys will talk and then everybody pathways and they go to their own home but this morning she wasn't happy i looked at her and i was like are you okay is everything all right you know and she shared with me she just simply opened up with me to me and i said okay you know what what's going to happen is i'll follow you home like when we were when we were sat down and we were talking and she was sharing you know with me what happened and how things happened and stuff like that I, I, I didn't know when I started crying myself. I was not the one that did this stuff. It was not me. But what I'm saying is, I, it, it was just born out of passion, out of, you know, the fact that, you know, it was just, it, she was just, she was just sharing with me. I, I didn't know why she opened up to me. I didn't know, you know, I didn't know why she opened up to me. She just opened up to me and then we started talking, you know, and then I, I shared with her because, you know, one thing that I always want to bring to people is I always want to bring the love of the Father. You know, God is not a gender freak. You know, God is not a gender freak, but is a daddy to his girls. Ah, no. His girls is very jealous. And his prince and sons, God is very mindful of them. He's a father to his, to his sons and princes. And he is a daddy to all of his girls. You know, daddy loves his girls. You know the relationship between fathers and their daughters. You know, I'm a father's daughter. I'm my father's daughter. Like, I love my daddy. You know, even my earthly father knows that I love him. The way we relate, the way we talk, the way we chat, the way we laugh and giggle together. Mom is always like, mm, okay, now, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. You know, and then my heavenly father, you know, the love that transcends um, the love that transcends the love of our earthly father, you know, earthly parent. So I, I just, I just simply share the scripture with her. We we just share together about the love of the father, about the, about the love of daddy, you know, our father in heaven, who, you know, genuinely loves us, who genuinely, 
you know, the, the, there's a portion of the scriptures that talks about the fact that Jesus, you know, bears our infirmity. And I think that is in the book of Hebrews, Hebrews in chapter 4. It says that this high priest of ours understands our weaknesses. Like Jesus Christ understands our weaknesses for he faced all of the same temptations we do, yet he did not sin. So if Jesus Christ is on the inside of us, if we truly profess that we are children of God, we are Christians, we have Christ on the inside of us, you know, um, I think it's just very important that we also demonstrate what Christ has demonstrated. All right, so the Bible says again in, in the book of Hebrews chapter 4, verses 15. Wow. Um, coincidentally, I'm talking about Romans 12, 15 and Hebrews Chapter 4 in verse 15 is saying that this same high priest, this same Jesus Christ, our high priest, daddy's very first son, like my older brother, Jesus Christ. So everything that Jesus has access to, I have access to it. I have access to it because Jesus is the firstborn of my daddy and I'm, a, I'm his brother, I'm his sister, rather. So he's my older brother. He is my brother, you know. So, and he's the one that understands our weakness. For he faced all of the same temptations we do, yet he did not sin. And again, the book of Romans chapter 12, just verse 15 that I was sharing about, it was talking about the fact that, you know, um, be when others are happy, be happy with them. If they are sad, share their sorrows. So I think it's just that we, we should genuinely do that. You know, when we genuinely do that, that is when, our blessings come. That is where the blessings of the Lord comes from. That is when the blessedness of the scriptures come into fulfillment, come into realization. That is, that is when the scriptures is blessed. That is when the scriptures is fulfilled. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, you know, like I said, again, um, the message translation of that scripture, Romans chapter 15, um, Romans chapter 12, rather, verse 15. Romans 12, 15. Romans again, verse 15. It says, laugh with your happy friends when they are happy. Share tears when they are down. Get along with each other. Like, you know, share in their sorrows. Share in people. Genuinely do that. And when you genuinely do that, that is when you have the blessedness of that scripture. Because you will see that you've been able to share in somebody's burden You've been able to share in somebody's joy. You've been able to share in somebody's happiness. You've been able to share in somebody's sorrow. Somebody's grieving. Somebody is unhappy. You're able to share in whatever they are going through. Because we are built to be able to share. We are not built. We are human beings. Built by God not to live. We, we, we cannot do without ourselves. One tree cannot make a forest. And that's the reason why we're here in the world. And that's the reason why our parents could give back to us. If not, we would have just dropped from heaven. One by one, be dropping like that. But unfortunately, we did not drop from heaven. We, we were made, we were, God, God created us. Our parents gave back to us. We gave back to our children as well. And then that is where the sharing comes from. We share, we share, we share and care. All right, so I just wanted to bring that to you this morning. Um, the Lord bless you as you take each, each scripture as a child of God, as a genuine child of God, as a Christian, as a genuine child of God, you know, take each scripture and let the blessedness of that verse come to you. All right, let me share another scripture that, you know, blesses me. You know, when I'm talking about blessedness, it's just about blessing. The scripture that blesses you, that blows your mind, you know, <laughs> that... <laughs> that blows your head off so one of my favorite favorite scriptures that blows me up you know that, that that keeps me confidence all of the time is in the book of Ephesians as a woman this is what 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 really helps me Ephesians chapter 3 in verse 20 it says now glory be to God in the New Living Translation it says now glory be to God by his mighty power at work within us. Another version will say is exceedingly above what we think or imagine according to the power that's at work in you. Now, there's a power that's at work in you. If you don't use it as your own cup of tea. Now, if you don't use that power, hear me again, if you don't access that power that is in you as a child of God, 
Sorry. God can't be blamed. Because the power is in you. The power is on the inside of you. The power is on the inside of you. So there is a power that is at work in us. So that's one of the scriptures or many, out of many scriptures that I have or out of many word of God that I have, out of many Bible verses that I have or that I look at, that's one of the major ones that blesses me. That's one of the major ones that really blows my mind. Like it blows my head off. There's a power that is at work on the inside of me. So that means I can, I can, every place the sole of my feet treads, you know, the Lord is there, all right? So God bless you as you look through the scriptures. I think it's just important that this time and this time of, 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 of our lives, I think it's important that we, that we, we begin to look at the scriptures. If you are genuinely a child of God, it's time that you take hold of your Bible. It's just time that you take hold of your Bible and start looking through it. Now you can so nobody will do it for you as a child of God. If you are truly a child of God, this is what connects us with God. This is what helps us to relate with our Father in heaven, to relate with our Daddy who is in heaven. All right. So I just wanted to bring that that thought to you. Romans chapter twelve again is verse fifteen says, "Be happy, rejoice with those who rejoice, and be sad with those who are sad." And I pray that the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. All right, so I'm sharing my joy. I'm sharing my heart to you today. You know, I'm just praying that, you know, the Lord will bless us as we genuinely look through the scriptures together each day, each time. We need to, you know, turn up and, and look through the scriptures. You know, don't go a day without looking through the scriptures. Just a verse, you know. Um, that can liberate you, that can help you, that can bless you, that can be a blessing to somebody else around you. It's just important. We cannot do without the word of God. You know, as a Christian, when you give your heart to the Lord, you cannot do without studying the scriptures. And the more you study, the more you practice, then the more the blessings come to you. And that is where the blessedness of the scriptures is realized. I just pray that the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. God is able to do just what he said he will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. Is able. Let me sing it again, just to encourage you. God is able to do just what He said He will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise He has made to you. Don't give up on God, cause He won't give up on you. Is able. Oh, 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 is able. Oh, 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 is able. God is able to do just what He said He will do. If you're a woman out there, if you're a woman out there and you think you cannot realize your dreams, you're broken, you're downcasted, you're rejected, refused, you know, just, just look up to the word of God. He's able to do just what he said he will do. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. He's able. God is able to do just what he said he will do. He's going to fulfill every promise he has made to you. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. He's able. God is able to do. And that's the reason this morning I'm sharing with you the blessedness of the scriptures. 
the blessedness of the word of God. There is blessing in practicing the word of God. So again, let me just recap on what I've said. Romans chapter 12 and verse 15 who is, was talking about rejoice with those who are rejoicing. And be sad. Be sad like genuinely, genuine. Be genuinely, you know, be genuine in being, you know, relating with what people are going through around you. So I, I just wanted to share with you. I, I love everybody. Thank you so much, um, everyone who has joined. I, I plan to use just a few minutes, but it's just been on my heart for a long time. And particularly because of the experience that I had with that woman that I share with. You know, um, it, it has prompted me to share this with everybody on here to say that, you know, is it's possible because we are built to share other people with other people. We are built to share in people's sorrow. We are pe built to share in other people's prayer that the Lord will bless us in Jesus name. So there is blessing when we practice the word of God. He has a track record of keeping his word. So it will not fail. It will not fail you. The word of God won't fail you. So I just wanted to bless. I just wanted to be a blessing this morning. And I really want to appreciate Auntie Lillian. I really want to appreciate Auntie um, Ola Lanio. I just want to appreciate uh, Pastor Larry. Thank you so much for coming on. The Lord bless you. I love you all. Thank you so much. Kumbi, Arose, and Reverend Wally Larry. Thank you so much. And um, Mr. Ebenezer Jai. Thank you so much. God, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. As we read the scriptures and we practice each scripture so that we can get a blessing out of it. There's a blessedness in the scriptures or with the scriptures or where you practice the scriptures. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Love you all. I got to go <laughs> to do a few other things. All right. Love you. I love you. I love you. Like I love you right here. The thermometer of the love of God does not change. So I am loving you all. God bless you. Bye. Have a wonderful day. Love you.